Oh, hey! <laughs> Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hadrian here. How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today is going to be a haul video, so I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got. And this is actually the second half of a of the haul from um, the thrifting video from a few days ago when we went to various Crossroads stores and saw what they had. And, like, I had so much fun. And I went to one particular store where I found... So much good stuff. It's the first time that I've been to that store and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got and I wanted to put it all into one video. But if you guys love thrifting, you love vlogs, you love thrift hauls and all that, don't forget to subscribe with the little bell button for notifications and don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And don't forget to check out my shop at itshadrian.com where I'm going to have a lot of these items for sale if anyone is interested. And... If you guys want to see the thrifting video for this, I'll have it linked right there as well. But without further ado, let's get into this haul. I'm really excited because I found, I think, some really great stuff. So I'm going to start off with this bag. Now, um, this bag may or may not be in the shop because mom did fall in love with it when she saw it. And she was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was actually looking at that bag not too long ago on the website. And she was thinking about buying it, but then she did it and she was like, it was meant to be. So, here it is. It is this gorgeous Tory Burch crossbody bag in, like, a beautiful gray color. Um, it has the, like, Tory Burch logo hardware right here, kind of, like, in a belt formation. And then it has just a great crossbody strap, which is really nice. And the belting goes all the way around the bag as well. And it just opens up beautifully to this. So it has, like, a middle divider. It has a back zipper, and then the middle divider divider is a zipper pocket as well, and then another um, opening in the front. And yeah, it it's gorgeous. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the Hermes Evelyn in a way, but it's just like a great crossbody bag, and I think that it's beautiful. I really, really, really do like the color. I appreciate like this kind of like gray beige color. It's one of my favorite handbag colors other than I think like the golden brown is definitely my most favorite but I like, think gray and then like blues are like my um, next favorite after that and this one is just so pretty. There is a little bit of wear on the buckle but honestly I think it kind of looks cool. Like it looks worn in whereas like if this one was purchased like brand new I would be so scared to scratch the hardware because I'm always like <gasps> but if it's already like scratched like, it's perfect, and if it already has, like, kind of, like, a lot, it's like, oh, like, it kind of, it, it, it's almost like that mindset where, like, oh, it's supposed to be like that, and it's, like, it was made to be, like, looked worn in and, like, cool and vintage, and so I totally appreciate that. There are a couple little, like, tiny pen marks on it that I'm gonna see if I can get out. There's, like, one right there, and then there's one, like, right there, so, um, I'm gonna see if I can get them out. There's also a couple little marks on the back, so... Check out um, either yesterday's vlog or tonight's vlog and um, I'm going to do like a quick rehab on these and see if I can clean this bag up. But it's really such a beautiful handbag and you really can't go wrong with this guy. Um, $37.50. Crazy, right? I believe <sighs> this bag could have retailed for about $375 to $425 um, up in like on their website. So it's such a gorgeous bag. It also has like a little tea right there on the side which is really cute I like that little detail it's like nondescript and like it's just like a little like a little beauty mark right there on the side so there is that Tory Burch bag then up next I love 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 finding these bags and this is actually probably like the third or fourth time I found this style bag but this is the first time I found it in this particular um, mutation <laughs> mutation I'm like talking like science. Um, so, it's this beautiful little Marc Jacobs quilted bag in a like cobalt blue. And it has gold hardware with like these really cool like studs all over it. Some of them are triangle, like uh, pyramidal, and then some of them are just like flat circles. And they are so cute. They're also on the back as well. And I love this one because it's kind of like a wallet on a chain. Um, it does have like a like slots back there for your credit card you can put cash right here 
And then there's also a zipper pocket right here, which is awesome for like your cell phone or you can put your cell phone here in this front pocket. So as small it is, as it is, it really does pack a punch. And what's great about this bag is that not only does it like look great for like every day, you can definitely use this at night. It's a great party bag. If you wanted to um, just double up the chain like that and then close that up. And then suddenly it's a shoulder bag. So now you can just carry it on your shoulder if you want, not necessarily a crossbody. Or you can just like shove it all inside and then just use it like a clutch. And I think that's really, really great as well. Um, the strap, the straps, unfortunately, don't come off all the way. But I, feel, I see that kind of like as a blessing also because you're never going to lose it. And also, um, you can all, you always have it on hand with you. So. There it is, a really, really cute Marc Jacobs crossbody bag. And this is also Marc Jacobs collection, so this is actually made in Italy. And um, this is lamb skin leather. So soft, supple, beautiful, and the, just the color is so stunning. I love all of the craftsmanship and detail that went into this bag. <laughs> it's just like so, so cool. And there you go. So there is that bag. Beautiful little crossbody bag. Now, this one I was very excited about, and I know a lot of you guys will be too because I know that I have a couple fans out there for Chloe, especially the Chloe Paddington style bags. And this is the Chloe Paddington Satchel. Not Satchel. Chloe Paddington Hobo. It's so. Can you guys see it? There you go. So, this is also like in a beautiful um, navy color. It has gold, brass, hardware, um, the lock is right there, it's so gorgeous. And then it opens like really nicely. So this just like, you can actually just like leave it all the way open and it's stunning. The interior lining is actually in really good shape. Um, it doesn't have any major stains or anything. Um, there are a couple pen marks inside the pocket, but that's like inside the pocket. You're never really ever going to see that. But um, such a great color navy it has zippers across the top there's also a pocket in the back if you want to throw your cell phone in there or you can put um if your cell phone is small enough put them in the side pockets as well and it's gorgeous 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 the strap is so soft like it's, it feels really nice on your shoulder like honestly it's amazing and who like i just love the paddington bags um, all the work and craftsmanship and detail that went into these bags are amazing. Handmade in Italy, soft, beautiful. I believe this might be lambskin, I'm not too sure. But um, it's so pretty. And I love navy bags with gold hardware. I think it's such a classic color combination. And I love too that the Paddington, um, even though like it has gold hardware, it'll still have like silver zippers. So. You don't have to like match, like I know a lot of people like to match their jewelry with like the hardware on their handbags. This one is super versatile. You can do silver, you can do gold, it doesn't matter because the hardware has both colors in the bag. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I really, really love this bag so, so much. It's super cute and I'm super excited to have it up for you guys um, in the shop because I know we have, again, Chloe fans. So, oh, I also have another Chloe up in the shop too. I have my... um the Chloe Elsie, I believe is the name. So cute. So check these out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bags. And then I have one last bag to share with you guys. And it is probably the one I'm most excited about. And I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to be um, putting it up for sale. Now this is a strap that I got, that I, um, that I have, that I put onto it just because I was just trying it out. But here is the bag. It is the... Balenciaga um, messenger bag and it's so gorgeous it's in navy again I guess blue is the color of the week and it is in such is a beautiful suede leather it's so soft and it has silver hardware which I also love I feel like navy like it, it looks great I, either way with like silver or gold hardware um, I feel like silver is a little bit more modern, I guess, and then gold is a little more classic, but with a bag like um, Balenciaga, it always looks a little bit modern. And then I already have like, a, I already have stuff inside of it, but <laughs> I have like my face wipes and my sunglasses, uh, wallet and all that. 
but the interior is in perfect condition and the bag itself is in amazing shape um this is actually a pocket here in the front too and it does have the original strap i wish it came with like the desk bag and everything but it did not but it does have the original strap with it and there is one thing though with the original strap there is this kind of like a tear right there which i am going to fix up and i think that when i fix it up it's not going to be very obvious that there was a tear there um so if you guys want to see a handbag rehab for that let me know um and i will film it but i think i think we can fix it very easily and i think we can get it looking really good but here's the bag so i already have like a million things hanging off of it obviously of course it's me and then i have like this cool strap if you guys are interested in the strap i got this from um coach i believe so really really cute um it actually came in gray too like a grayish bluish color and i feel like i want to pick it up because now that i've used this strap i actually really like it and i feel like it's a really cool like decorative kind of thing so here it is the balenciaga messenger bag i love it so much um uh, i might be putting it up for sale i'm not too sure i'm kind of like trying it out to see like to get a feel for it um, the leather is so soft. It's amazing. Um, I do have the Proenza Schooler um, suede bags as well. And they are a lot heavier than that Balenciaga. That Balenciaga is really, really light. So these are really light suede. Um, I don't know if these like a goat suede or like a lamb suede for the reason why it's so light. I'm not sure. But um, I... I I should actually look into that. I wonder. Does anyone know? Comment down below if you guys know. Um, but that is today's haul. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun checking out these really cool items that I found. I am so excited. I'm over the moon. I'm like ecstatic and euphoric and giddy with delight over all these really awesome finds that we got today and i'm so excited that i was able to share them with you and don't forget to like the video like i said um don't forget to uh subscribe hit the little bell button for notifications and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a brand new video i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys manana adios all right checking out the rest of the bags vessel Everything seems to kind of be what I saw already before. You can always count on the store to have good music though. <laughs> oh.